first down. After that nice game there, for the rest of the game, the defense is going to have to respect the running backs as passing threats as well. Not just play them strictly to run the football. They may be able to get downfield and catch it too. Jameis now on first down. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. No gain on the play there. It'll be second down. Well, he caught it right at the line of scrimmage, and before he could even think about advancing it forward, he got hit. Great tackling, because that's what you're taught. Don't give up yards after the catch, and most offenses make a living off of yards after catch. It's hidden yards that may not go into the score sheet, but they count big for moving the ball and stretching the field. Really nice open field tackle. He hits Rodgers in the plan. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 to the 5-yard line. 25 yards to pick up there and also a first down. And now a first down following that long gain. Now a play fake here on first down. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Daquan Jones in there to bring him down for a loss of seven. on second down and oh not only did he drop it he dropped it in the end zone this team is not going to make it easy for you they're a physical group and we just saw it there on that play he came in made the contact just as he's trying to haul it in can this defense get the stop on the opening drive here's third and goal from the gun Winston Sacked right around the 17. Brian Arakpo in there to drop him for a four-yard loss, and it'll be fourth down. Here's Nick Folk now on for the field goal. From the right hash, this from 33. it through the goalpost, and the Bucks take a 3-0 lead. So the opening drive for them here on their home turf results in a field goal. Now that's the way you want to get things started. Your stadium, your crowd, you get the ball, put points on the board first, and let everyone start to celebrate. Adore Jackson on the return. first carry for DeMarco Murray and he's got some space here and able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down first down Titans gain of 12 so right now what I'm seeing I'm seeing an offense just firing off the ball a lot quicker than they can react and not only that they're sustaining the blocks too I'm seeing guys get six seven yards downfield before there's even a hint of contact they go back to Murray on first down <laughs> and able to push his way forward here for a good little gain. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Partner, I think from our experience together, we have learned that most offensive coordinators are going to tell you if I'm going to run the football on first down, I've got to get at least four yards. They got five here. They've got to feel pretty good about that one. Tight end right. Tight end right. 
Now a second down throw for Mariota. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. That one good for a pickup of 15 for Tennessee. That's a matchup. Maybe they go back to their outer third of the field as this game continues. Yeah, I think back to my high school coach, John Ford, he used to say when we got big plays early in a game or good plays, he'd always say, follow it away, lad. Follow it away because he'd want to come back to it later in a key situation. They may come back to this one a little more often than that. Did he say laddie or did he say lad? Yeah, it just depends on what he was feeling. Okay, I thought, I thought that was the guy you told me about these say laddie a lot. Laddie? When you heard laddie, he's usually in a pretty good mood. Lad? And give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Second down, eight. Mariota to throw it. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sacked back at the 38. The game plan for any defense is finding ways to make a quarterback uncomfortable in the pocket. When you bring pressure from all angles, you never know who's going to get home. In this case, the left cornerback, right in the face of him, puts him down. Mariota will need a big play after the sack as the Titans come up third and long. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Derrick Henry. With the former volunteer Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's the Titans with a football here to begin quarter number two. They are, however, facing a fourth down situation. Fourth down, here's Brett Kern to punt the football away. Adam Humphreys deep for Tampa Bay. Oh, it's a wobbler here. Calls for the fair catch, makes the fair catch just inside the 15-yard line. Just 21 yards on the punt there. And the Bucs are going to take over first and 10 deep in their own territory. They'll run it now out of the gun. And an alley to run. And brought down, but not before they're able to get it up to the 25. Give them 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. and 10, Winston. Try to set up the screen, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Wesley Woodyard, and they're already in the red zone. The 18-yard line is where they take over. And a great spot to start this drive from here. On first down, Murray. And he'll take this down for about four yards down to the 15. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action. Hit them over the top. Mariota going to give it to his fullback. This is Charleston Fowler. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. 
No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. going to bring up a fourth down. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. And this is not even going to get there. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. So a bullet dodge there defensively. They surrender excellent field position on the kick return, but it winds up not costing them a thing. And that's a tough sequence of events from an offensive perspective. The inability to get first downs leads to the field goal try. And the inability to cash that in leads to nothing on the scoreboard. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. His throw incomplete. The intended receiver that time, Adam Humphreys. And that'll bring up second down. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches had told me in the past. The biggest teaching point, get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll find some space up to about the 25. It'll be a pickup of five, and that leaves him with five more. Third and five now. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Under four to play now. Clock running, third down. And a first carry here for Charles Sims. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. Winston now to throw on first down. It's brought in by Adam Humphreys. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Accepted. Picked off by Logan Ryan. And he's going to score. It's a Titans touchdown. So a pick six there out of the nickel package. They went with five DBs. Almost becoming the base package in the NFL is the nickel. Hard to throw against. That was demonstrated one more time. A pick six going the other way. So he missed his lone field goal try, but he's got this one as that extends their lead. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Now the Buccaneer offense set to take over again. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. I had one tell me once, you know, when we were having a tough patch, 
this too shall pass, this too shall pass. And it finally kept having a rough patch. He said, but you got to do something <laughs> up. to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. And oh, Jameis intercepted a third time. Picked off by Jonathan Cyprian. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. Game clock setting at 2.02, so they'll get one play before the two-minute warning. And the D-line pinching together must be expecting the run. They'll run the counter with Murray. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. A minute 57 to go in this first half. We'll come back to Tampa after this timeout. They go with Murray again. And they'll get him down right about the 20. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. And that's why you see a lot of teams that like to play 4-3 defense, especially against teams that run the ball really well, because you count on your defensive front, the tackles and the ends, to eat up the blocking in the offensive line and keep that guy in the middle clean so he can roam to the football and make a tackle. In this case, he introduced himself and said, Hello, my name is Mike. Losing yardage back at the 22. And now the Bucs deciding to take a timeout defensively. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Still nine yards to go on third down. To throw is Mariota. Pressure too much. Down he goes. Well, the Buccaneers go ahead and take another timeout. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Here's Ryan Suckup for the Titan field goal. This one from 46 yards out. Exception, he'll look to throw. Flushed out right. And some room to maneuver. Got some room at the 30. And he'll be out of bounds up past the 45. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Partner, it's often the man coverage is easier for a quarterback to run against. You get your receivers going downfield. Those guys are staying with them, and oftentimes they have their back to the quarterback, which opens up a lot of space and room, and they don't even know that he's taken off with it. What a big-time pickup on that play. And break. The tight end's got it. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. The completion good for three, and it's second down. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. Throw it long, it can be a big play. You throw it short, it could be a big play for Deshaun Jackson. Yards after catch, always a big part of his game. Talking about speed, only Tyreek Hill was measured with a faster play last year than Deshaun Jackson, who hit 22.6 miles per hour on a touchdown versus the Cardinals in Week 13. A first down throw for Winston. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. I know he wants to get his team back in the game, but a 50-50 ball right there that maybe was a little questionable. Yeah, he's pretty lucky to get that one back. I think that sometimes these quarterbacks play with a lot of confidence, 
that borders on arrogance, and that can put your team in some Dutch. Yeah, especially maybe want to look at some safer routes after the interception he had that ended their last drive. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And give him nine yards on the second down screen play. And now prior to this third and one, we're going to get a timeout here as they'll stop him with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Complete, he finds Blake. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. And that is caught by Jackson for a Buccaneer touchdown. Deshaun Jackson, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Bucs are able to strike for six. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. Now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. And the Titans getting set to go. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. second quarter why not just run it a time or two and get it into the locker room what you're saying makes absolutely perfect sense run it and get out of there but i'm just wondering if the pressure of today's nfl and the high powered offenses that you're facing may have forced them into saying let's try and get some more points jumpy on the right side of the line sometimes when you're on the end a little bit farther away from the ball any type of movement will get you to jump and that's exactly what happened there From the shotgun, it's Winston. And Winston lost the football. On plays like this when the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back. Because this is, this is a quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from it. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. Teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. Here's the Titan offense now as they make their way back onto the field. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors but overall I think they wanted to be positive with them guys we're right there just not playing as well as we need to let's pick it up and we still have a chance to win this game yeah they do we'll see if they can pick it up second half starts with a run by Murray and he'll get this one up to the 26 just a yard on the pickup there and it'll bring up a second and nine 
tough day, tough sledding right there, and it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. Second down, Mariota. He's going to get this one out to his fullback. Broke a tackle, but not much room there ultimately. Just up past the 25 and no further. It'll be a pickup of only a yard, and that'll bring up a third down. We're still in search of the first down after that last completion. On third down. It's Henry, and Henry's hit. He lost the football, but fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, or that could have been trouble. All I can say about this play is that someone's living right. I mean, he's trying to gain yardage, trying to get upfield. Ball comes free. What's that panic that we've talked about oftentimes that you feel when you yeah, lose the ball? You can sense it. Oh, you can sense it, and somehow he got to it and was able to recover it for his squad. They keep it on the ground, but this time it's Murray. And able to get this one all the way up to about the 46-yard line. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Again, it's Murray. With five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. Mariota gives to Henry. And he'll get this into enemy territory, but not by much as he's down to the 48. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Nice job by that defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. That was second down run for Murray. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Back-to-back -back stops make it third and ten. Off the corner, where'd he come from? Well, I, guess, I mean, I guess he came off the corner, but really nice play. <laughs> I like when you're able to pose a question and answer it at the same time. <laughs> That's exactly where he came from, but it's not something that you normally see. Most of the time, we're thinking about those guys covering pass catchers. In this case, he was a big factor in a run game. No gain. Now it's a bootleg with Mariota. And incomplete here on third down. A pretty good coverage there in both of these defenses. They've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt about it. And in today's NFL, where we're used to a bit more scoring, this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides where the tension continues to build. Who's going to make the big play? On is Kern, the punter, to send this one away. Now this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. Here comes the Buccaneers offense. They get their first reps of the second half. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Now how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. And an alley to run. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking. And that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, Run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. Right. I got you. I got you. Watch it. Ready. Switch. Ready. Switch. Easy, 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 easy. Check, check. Ready. 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 
Ready. Another carry now for Rodgers. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Ready. Ready. First down, Winston. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Pressure, and that's certainly going to be a key to this game going forward. And that time, they were able to get in there and influence the throw. And remember, quarterbacks got to get rid of it. They don't have the tuck rule that they can fall back on anymore. So incomplete on first. Let's see what second down has in store. Now Winston. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. Time to give a little credit here. That was an excellent read by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Oh, you're crediting your defense. Got to credit them on that one because they tried to fool them, right? Tried to trick them, ran a screen, and they went to it and smothered it for a loss of yardage. The Bucks on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third down and 12. Winston. He gets it to Humphreys. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. Here's Brian Anger now, as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. Back now in Tampa. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Here's Brian Anger now as he's on to punt for Tampa Bay. And now a high kick here as he'll try to hang it up there. 33 yards is the distance on the punt there. And it'll be Titan football. Out come the Titans now. And you know, their previous possession, they were able to move the football, but still wound up punting in the end. You know, in 2016, Carolina had a 20-play drive mm, yeah. that lasted over 10 minutes. And remember how it ended? In a punt. Yeah, I mean, how does that happen? You just don't see that happen every day. And this one maybe not quite that bad, but still, you'd like to have a chance for points if you hold the football that long. Agreed. They begin the drive with a run by Murray. And he'll be taken down right around the 27. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. Mariota now on second down. And this one caught by Delaney Walker. A Titan first down, Mariota to Walker. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. Murray. And unable to get downhill there, as so he'll take this up to about the 37. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. They run with Murray. And he'll get this up to about the 38-yard line. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. But now they're in a spot that every team tells us when we have our production means they don't want to be in third and long. And that's because those back-to-back -back running plays just didn't accomplish a whole lot. The Titans on third down. Just one for five to this point. This is third and seven. 
Cena hands to Henry. And he's got Rome. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. Here's Murray fighting his way down to about the 35-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Not much happening there on first down. I thought there might have been a hole for a split second. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, didn't it? Closed fast. They'll try to throw now. Mariota and Walker with it over the middle. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. It goes as a gain of eight and it moves the chains. And let's see what the defensive coordinator may have up his sleeve here to try to get this final last stand and win this football game. Carey's piling up. It's Murray again. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. And now, defensively, they're going to burn their first time out. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two-minute warning. So this offense really needs to make something happen here late in the fourth with the football. to throw Mariota. And he'll go out of bounds down inside the 15-yard line. The Titans get 14 yards there and move the chains as well. Working the sideline there. Good route, good catch. First down, and he gets out of bounds. Now you have to like the play calling because you have to run some guys down the middle of the field to draw some of the defenders away. They can't just let them guard the sideline exclusively. That's how it's going to work. Sidelines and incompletions to use the clock. It's Murray. And this play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back to the 15. And this defense here going to burn their second timeout. But you can also factor in another timeout that they'll get when the clock stops at the two-minute warning. And a really long drive here, and it goes on and on. They keep it on the ground. This time it's Henry. And effective running here. He'll take it down inside the 10. And now here comes the third of their timeouts defensively. So they'll be left with only the two-minute warning to stop it from here on out. This a big play for both sides. What will we see here? Third and four. to the 10 yard line he lost two and it brings up fourth 
So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. And Suckup will put this one right through. And we are all tied here in the final stages. I tell you, the life of a kicker. He has not been called on the entire game. He's over there by the net. But they send him out here in the fourth quarter and say, hey, go tie the game, will you? And guess what? He comes through. I just don't know how they do it. I really don't. These cats are a different breed from you and me. That's a pressure kick, but that one was never in doubt. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. On the ground, Rodgers. That is not going to be any help as they dump him behind the line. Scrimmage. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. on the pickup there and now they're left with a third and eight now another timeout here called by the titans that'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play the bucks on third down they've hit two for four thus far this is third and eight Cross play to Sims. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. Now here's a whistle and a timeout. It's called by the receiving team here. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. Here's Brian Anger now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Here's Jackson. And he is out of bounds, getting it across the 30-yard line. A very good return there. Give him an even 20 yards. And out will come the offense as they take over. The Titans offense now, they get set to head back out here. They need to get this around the 40 on the other side to get into field goal range. Look at the clock, a decent amount of time here in a tie game. What do they do? No panic situation at all. They've got to get a couple of chunk plays, pick up nice bits of yardage. Target the sidelines. Target the sidelines because you want to get out of bounds and make sure that clock stops. Because if the clock stays running, that makes things that much tougher for you. It can always bleed out on you. Bears this out for Matthews. And it drops down incomplete. Thought he might have had it. Instead, second down. That would have been a tough catch, but in this two-minute drill, those are the ones you really hope your guys come up with. Yeah, you don't want your guy to be able to take the out because it was a tough catch. You needed him to come up with that one because if he does, it alters the perspective of this two-minute drill, doesn't it? Offense still needing 10 yards. Second down. Now Mariota. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Eric Decker was the intended receiver, and it's third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, now third and ten. And first things first, before you think about marching the ball down the field, you got to move the chains. You're exactly right. Got to get back into focus here. Get the first down. That's what's vital to them. The Titans on third down, lacking much success. Just two for seven to this point. This is third and ten. Mariota. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. 
This defense looking impenetrable now. Three straight incompletions. They're giving him nowhere to go with the football. Maybe a little frustrated back there. Oh, there's no doubt about it. When you've missed on three straight, there's going to be some frustration. But now he's got to make sure that that frustration is temporary, not lingering. Big throw coming up. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. It's just a 32-yard punt with no return. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. Here comes the Tampa Bay offense now heading back out onto the field. They need to get this around the 40 to have a chance to win it in regulation. From the 40, it's a 57-yard field goal, so that gives you a gauge. And all they're trying to do now is pick up yardage in good chunks and get out of bounds to stop the clock. If they end up running a play and get tackled in bounds, they're worried the clock may run out on them and finish the game. And they'll have to be careful how they handle this. They'll run it here. This is Rodgers. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Partner, you get about 20 coaches on your payroll, but there's 60,000 of them in the stands. I don't think any of them like that play. And the later we go, it's starting to sound like 100,000 in here. Call it no gain there, and now they're looking at a third and 13. And with a third and 13 here, the defense in a dime look. Here's Winston. He finds Humphreys. And he's finally taken down, but not before getting across midfield and across the 45-yard line. A big third down conversion with a gain of 28. So they're still at the original line of scrimmage here. Second down and 10. Winston. He's going to air one out. And incomplete on the deep ball. And here in overtime... If the team that receives the ball scores a touchdown, it's over. If they don't, we can still have some more football. That's exactly right. If they go down and kick a field goal, the other team gets a possession to either match it or score a touchdown to win the ball game. If both teams kick field goals, the next team to score wins. But if the receiving team throws a pick six or fumbles the ball and gets picked up by the defense and they score, the game is over at that point. This is fielded a couple yards deep. <laughs> the Titans offense now, they work their way back onto the field. Except for their first drive here in overtime, and this is where the crowd can really become a factor. They've had to battle it all day, but I know what you're saying. In overtime, that gets doubled, doesn't it? At least, because now the crowd really wants to be involved and help their team. And that first drive can dictate the whole thing because they know if this team takes it downfield and scores a touchdown, it's game over. It's been loud in here so far. This is Murray. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. Well, forget about finding a lane there. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Probably fortunate he's able to hold on to the football. And a long way to go for the offense here on second down. Now the first throw in overtime for Mariota. Wide open receiver complete. <laughs> And he's finally taken down, but not before getting across midfield and across the 45-yard line. Give him 30 yards there. So the offense has it first and 10. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage, look defensively. 
A handoff. It's Murray. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Tough running there. That's a hard-earned four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. Second down throw for Mariota. Oh, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Brent Grimes. A costly mistake here in OT. And you know what they say when you throw an interception like that in overtime? You don't usually get a chance to throw a second one. I mean, I'm not sure the analytics on it. Let's ask Marvin, our statistician, to, to ring that down for us. That's typically how coaches and teams feel about it. You throw one, you likely cost yourself the game. Now Rodgers. And he'll snag about five yards down to the 32. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. Second down following the run. What can Winston do in the OT now? He's going to get this one out to his fullback. And he's into the end zone for the touchdown. A part of a great game that we got to see and making it extra special. Not only did I get four quarters with you in this one, I got some overtime. A little whipped cream on top. Look at you. Tried to make this whole thing palatable. I just want you to pay for my meal later. Hey, you really just wanted four quarters what you <laughs> wanted. But how much fun was that? We had that type of a game where we got us to overtime, and then we get the dramatic ending to finish things off as well. What a game. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The Bucks are winners here as we say so long from Tampa.